in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Technical solutions provider BMG, which is part of Invicta Holdings, has officially launched its BMG World Sites in Johannesburg last month. Mia Breitenbach tells us more. The investment to upgrade the Drosto Park facilities into a leading edge distribution centre is to centralise functional and support operations onto one site. BMG MD Gavin Palsa explained that through this rationalisation initiative, BMG strives to achieve cost optimization and to enhance customer service capability. Palsa and Invicta Holdings and non-executive director David Samuels opened the facility in September. While Palsa underscored the vision for the facility, he highlighted that the facility is a culmination of a consolidation and supply chain re-engineering strategy that began nearly 10 years ago. We invested over 400 million South African Rand onto the site over the last four years. This has been uh, used mainly in our distribution center where we have put in automatic warehousing, warehouse management systems, as well as a complete JDA system for stock analyzing. We have over 300,000 line items that we um, pick out of our warehouse every day. They range from an O-ring seal that weighs two gram to a gearbox that can weigh up to 50 tons. We also ensure that we get um, 120 containers a month, 40 foot containers through our facility where we can unpack these and move them into our warehouse facility. We move every day around 50 to 60 tons of product to the corners of South Africa, including Africa. We're now in nine countries in Africa. We've moved from a supply of just product to solutions where we have incorporated our gearbox manufacturing facility as well as our fluid tech pneumatics hydraulics facilities as well into this one facility. So hence BMG World is a world that offers you every single component you need. We, we like to call it the one basket where you can come get everything that's industrial for your needs. The facilities also include an advanced manufacturing center and general engineering workshop. It also houses specialist assembly and repair workshops for drives, conveyors, hydraulics and pneumatics, as well as electric motors, electronics, gaskets, lubrication systems and filtration systems. This enables BMG to continue to provide high levels of operating efficiencies and service delivery. The company has also invested in the latest materials handling equipment. This includes high bay reach trucks to optimize volumetric efficiency. Special machinery at the new facility includes eight dock levelers that will handle the containers. Key specialist machinery at BMG World includes a 200 kilowatt regenerative load test rig. The rig uses technology to transmit and apply loads of up to 30,000 newton meter. As training and skills development is key to BMG, the company has also upgraded the facility to host the BMG Academy of Excellence Practical and Theoretical Training. The Academy applies manufacturing, engineering and related services sector education and training authority accreditation for skills development and training. Our training is one of our most important facets of this business. We have an Academy of Training where we train not only our own staff but our customers as well. In celebrating the BMG World site, Palsa emphasised the site as one of a kind. With partners and suppliers that commented on the world-class elements of the facility, Palsa believes this shows South African capability and potential. We are definitely on par, if not better. So South Africa as a country has the technology to develop beyond the rest of the world. Hence, we are very proud to say that this is BMG World. BMG customers now have greater accessibility to products through more than 148 branches and a wide distribution network in South Africa and in Swaziland, Zambia, Botswana, Mozambique, Namibia and Tanzania. However, BMG has further expansions in the pipeline. Pulsar explained that BMG aims to have more than 30% of its 4 billion rand turnover coming from business in Africa. The company will also pursue a wider footprint on the continent. We are opening up in Ghana in November. Um, we are going East and West Africa as well as Central Africa. This is our growth strategy. That's it for today. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.